Hi Libra, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am going to be doing your weekly reading for October 23rd through the 29th. This may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. I have pre-shuffled these decks for you, so I'm only going to shuffle them for a moment. Here we go. This is for Libra, October 23rd through the 29th. Uh, Libra Sun and Rising. I don't, I don't include the moon signs for my own reasons, and I'm not like any other tarot reader. So that's it's for the Sun sign and the Rising sign. The basis of your reading is the Knight of Pentacles. That's a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, okay? So many of you could be dealing with that person this week. A Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in your life. We also have uh, the Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Cancer. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Taurus quite a bit. We have Taurus quite a bit in this reading, okay? In several places. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. This is Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, Cancer, all right? Gemini. So, anyway, let's get back to your reading for the week. It looks like there's been delays, something probably not happening, like nothing was moving forward because I see that you're contemplating letting go of something or you are letting go, and I think this is a never-ending story, okay? I, I, it is. Um, if you, but this right here is like you've really sacrificed a lot of your time for somebody. You have. You've sacrificed a lot of your time and really didn't get much in return, okay? And, and now you're aware of it, okay? Now you're fully aware. It's like you're wide awake. I'm wide awake, okay? And it looks like your confidence, your courage, your stamina, your strength, all that is coming back. It's like now I am wide awake. I'm not, you know, I think you're going to be um, moving away from a situation. And I think it's going to bring you a lot of happiness, okay? It's going to bring you um, contentment, all right? I think you guys have really took charge of a situation, put yourself in the driver's seat. I see that it's like you guys have, are going through some kind of transformation. You're moving forward. You're not living in the past anymore. It's like, you know what? I'm on my way. It's time for me to master my emotions and move away from this thing. I, it is seriously a wake-up call. Um, letting something go that no longer serves you, something that was very heavy. It's like, you know what? I can't carry this around me anymore. It's not going anywhere. I'm not getting the support that I desire. I'm not getting the attention, the love, whatever. You know, and it's like, it's took forever. I've done everything. I've really sacrificed. I've even sacrificed my heart for this commitment that wasn't, okay? That's all there is to it. And now it's like, you know what? I think your vibrancy is starting to come back because you're really listening. You're listening to your inner guide. You're listening to the the spirits above you're listening you're listening put it that way you are wide awake period subconsciously consciously all the way wide awake all right it's clear there's absolute clarity this week all right it's like a rebirth for many of you it's a rebirth or it's a it's some it's it's fertile it's a very it's a new growth it's great okay it's a very fertile time where things are starting new it's like Wow. You know, it's like the first um, signs of spring and everything starts to come up and be reborn again. I think that that's what it feels like. This energy feels like, you know, I'm, you're starting to vibrate very highly again. Your passion is coming back. Okay. That's what I see. And I see that um, you're acting on your hunches. You're, you're looking, you're thinking very positively. All right. 
and uh, you're you're thinking of something about a love, something about a relationship. Maybe there's a new person coming into your life. Maybe you have to make a choice between two people, Libra. Maybe you have to let one go so another one can come in. There's a, there's a chance that somebody new could be coming into your life. All right. We do have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. But this is gonna. This says you're gonna have to act on it. You're gonna have to take action, probably with this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, because you can't sacrifice any more time with somebody. Okay, can't because it's caused a lot of heartache. All right, and depression and sadness and grief. I think you've done everything you could do. You've sacrificed a lot of time in yourself, in your heart, you know, on this whatever it is, you know. And now you're like, you know what? I'm gonna. I'm moving on. I am moving on. I'm wide away. This is not going to happen. I want love. I'm looking for love. I'm looking for romance. And once you do that and you and you take make that move, I think that your vibrancy like hits the roof, okay? Your vibration. I think you're really being honest with yourself this week. And that's really helping you. I see you uh, absolutely shining. Okay, I think perhaps you were, were involved in a third party situation and finally you've woken up. I mean, for many of you, like I said, it may or may not resonate with everybody because it's for hundreds and thousands of people. It's like, you know what? I'm not going to be participate in this anymore because if you notice this guy, kid, whatever, is on the dragon fighting against these people down here that he can fly away from the drama at any moment. But he's not because he's comfortable. It's kind of like him, he likes it. Okay, so the fact of the matter is, it's time to fly away. And I think that many of you have already done that. Okay, and it's like, you know what? I'm going to be true to myself. I'm out of here. I'm not playing this game anymore. And it brings you a lot of peace when you leave. A lot of it. Even though your heart's still going to be hurt and bleeding, it brings you peace. Okay, because you know, you have to be careful. What you own owns you. And, that, and you know that. Okay. So this six, this seven of cups says you have other choices. Are you choosing wisely? I mean, do you want to be stuck in the same old situation forever that you've really sacrificed? You've sacrificed about all you can sacrifice. Do you really, how much more can you sacrifice? Okay. Think twice. And I think that's what you've done. This is think twice about your decision. And I see with the Hierophant and the High Priestess, and the magician that you you have you're thinking twice you've thought like overthought okay and it's like you know what it's time it's time i'm awake i'm wide awake like i said the the, the what you've been through you could do, like I just said, it's over the hangman. How much more can you sacrifice? Seriously. Be, is that what you want? That's the question of the week. So I think that for many of you, it's about, it's surrounding your choices. And I see that, the, that we, I, a moving on okay there's definitely a moving on for many of you there was a third party situation okay and um, I have to tell you that your prayers have been heard okay your prayers have been heard trust me they have been heard if you are praying for your soulmate and your soulmate you, you see your soulmate's face okay because it's a person from your past and you know they're your soulmate. And I know a lot of you guys aren't going to like this. You know it's your soulmate. And God, universe, angel, spirit, whoever it is that you honor, hears you. They're going to bring you your soulmate. And it might not be the one that you have pictured in your head. Anyway, your prayers have been heard. We have that's what threes. Your prayers have been been heard. 
all right? And that threes are also about releasing all that no longer serves you. Seriously, that's what's going on this week. I think that something didn't come to fruition and you've sacrificed all that you can sacrifice. And this week, it's like I am wide awake. I'm not playing this game anymore. Oh, wrong deck. I'm going to get you one of these Archangel Michael cards. Hmm. There it is. It's funny, I just had that card for something else. I did. I just had it for a, my daily reading, which you guys will see here, but I just barely had it. But I just shuffled, you saw me. Must have came out for a reason for you guys. It must be prominent for you. From Archangel Michael, take time making your decision. My prayer. Archangel Michael, Please help me stay strong and relaxed as I approach this situation. Remind me to detach and step back, allowing the situation to naturally unfold. Thank you for protecting me. Take time, what you have. How much more can you sacrifice? I'll talk to you later, Lib Libra.